hello there welcome back to my channel it is of course chelsea of she designs things and in today's quick video i'm gonna be showing you something super exciting ah! <laughs> so i've been waiting for a while now actually, i actually think that i've known about it for a while but i've been waiting for the update to occur in my own gmail account and that is the new social links so some of us have social links um i've known about it since its announcement <laughs> i decided to wait until i actually received the update before making a video so i actually just logged into my personal gmail account and i noticed that i had the icon yay so let's just go ahead and take a look at what social links does um, just a general overview and I'll kind of explain why this is super 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 wonderful <laughs> All right, so it does give you the notification when you log into your Google site um, It says you can now add icons which link to social media profiles. This is important when it comes to SEO it's something that your account generally didn't have before so it made it kind of difficult um, and so me I just have kind of um, them embedded right here, which, you know, you had to get kind of creative, you know, to, <laughs> to get it into your Google site, but hopefully that will be no more. So I'm just going to duplicate this footer section and I'm going to delete the social media icons that I have right here. And I'm going to click on the social links and let's see, I'm going to add, I'm going to just use the regular um a link for facebook so give me one second i'm just type that in so i'm just going to use a regular facebook page to put in copy and then i'm also going to do youtube and well let's probably put the well try it as an example um, and Twitter and just kind of see what it does so I'm gonna hit insert <gasps> oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh okay so first off that's really cool uh, so I'm just gonna slide it in there and then I'm gonna say medium la well, large oh this is wonderful this is the best news no shape whoa look at you looking fancy so no shape you can change the color you can say fully colored you can say black you can say white you can say gray which it says gray but i'm gonna be honest that looks very similar to let me see if i can change this make it large um doesn't look very gray to me it almost looks like the same color as my icon over there you can do it in a square this is awesome this is the best you can change its alignment um, add more links so i'm going to add let's see what do i have i'm going to say instagram so instagram.com who else um Pinterest, hopefully I spelled that correctly, probably not. Oh, I did, yay! Oh, that is awesome. Now, I'm interested to see if the messenger bubble will probably work. So I'm gonna go to my website. Um, not internally, but just kinda to my website and then click on my messenger bubble icon. And, well, actually I think I can do it in here. So I'm gonna just edit this this uh, HTML in here uh, so one second all right so now I have my dot me and I'm just going to um, edit the links and add another link so this is gonna be the dot me hit update and <laughs> so it doesn't recognize the um, Facebook one well it doesn't treat it like you know the rest uh, unfortunately but I'm sure they're adding more links as they go on so let me see one more um, let's see something a little uncommon and I'm gonna go to dribble and I'm gonna add my dribble 
account update yep it won't recognize the dribble and that's okay all right so just because it doesn't work and eh, it's not too bad um, I don't like that you can't stretch it all the way out but I think that's because it's attached to there let's see if I put it by itself if it'll let me and it will okay now let's fix these links that aren't showing up the easiest way is you can actually now add your images for the icons you're not set with what color scheme or color choice it shows you so for example um, let's see for dribble you can upload or select so if you select something it's just gonna op open your Google Drive and you can select something in your recent folder um, so for me I'm going to go ahead and find dribbles icon which I'm just going to use icon finder and then I'm going to download it from there and I'm going to download it. I'll show you what it looks like. So here we have icon finder, let's make it bigger and this is a PNG. So I'm going to, you can copy it to your clipboard actually, but I don't think that's going to work in this case. So I'm going to just do download a PNG. I'm going to select black actually. So now it has been downloaded and now I'm going to go and click on the dribble and select upload, dribble, open, and it's resized it. And there you have it. Now I have the dribble icon. So let's make the others match by selecting no shape, changing the colors to black. And then where I had the messenger icon, I'm actually gonna go and look for that too inside of here. So messenger, and as you can see tons and tons and tons to choose from so i'm going to just choose the standard black um, with no border so just download this uh, download as a png and then um, edit the social links again by opening them up and then going upload and there you have it open upload and now i have my social media links which is awesome so eventually I, I'm sure you'll be able to come in here and put in um, make a selection for your colors uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case at the moment who really cares <laughs> this is the the best thing that ever happened to a Google site like so serious <laughs> like I'm being so so serious right now this is so awesome um, so yeah if you if you're as excited as I am, this makes my designs easier. No more having to embed a literal HTML. <laughs> so that is wonderful. All right, so I'm gonna just try to slide it around just so you can take a look. Look at that, it's awesome. And I'm gonna see, I wonder if I can make it even smaller. Meh, probably not. Oh, it'll stack. Now let's, you know, it. If it doesn't look good on a mobile device, then it's trash. <laughs> it works. All right, let me see if I can actually put it side by side next to some things. I'm actually gonna put it right here in the footer section and I'm going to hit preview, scroll on down. Ah, oh, and they work and they're side by side. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy as you guys should you can tell by my voice like i'm super excited it's really late so that's why but anyways i hope you guys are excited as i am let's see if you can make something like a four square oh that's so cool okay so yes yes i'm super happy about this i hope you guys are excited and as happy as i am about this new feature like i said i've known for a while i just decided to postpone making a video until it was actually launched to my google site that way i can test it out and as soon as i opened it up and i saw it i said time to make a video <laughs> All right, thanks for so much for watching and sticking this Google site journey out with me. I hope you guys have a wonderful and happy weekend. And of course, laters.